Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from israutomation.com and welcome to another video of our Cucumber 4 upgrade section. And in this video, we are going to be talking about Cucumber 4 hooks. Alright, so let's get started. Let's all try to help save tree, water and energy to save our motherly planet Earth. So this is one of the most important initiative we should all do to help our next generations who should also enjoy the same privilege that we have while living on this motherly planet Earth. So Cucumber 4 hooks. Cucumber 4 now features 4 hooks as compared to 2 hooks before which were there in Cucumber Cukes version 1.2.5. The additional 2 hooks are the after step and the before step. So these were not there before and now it's been added after so many requests from the community. See, the before and the after steps are helpful especially if you are trying to get some action done after or before a step is being executed. So it can be some sort of logging or if you want to get some sort of information on a step, something like that. You can do this like taking a screenshot after a step has been failed. You can do that. So this is where the before step and after step are kind of very very helpful at least for the reporting purpose. But note, if you are expecting to get a step name out from the before or the after step, then you probably are going to be disappointed. The reason is because there is no such way that you can actually do that. So even if you are trying to use within the before and after step something like pickle step event, and if you try to get the name out of it, it's going to be throwing an error. The reason is because you cannot pass the parameter for the before and after step method as pickle step event rather you should always pass the scenario as the parameter of it so it is going to be confusing a little bit while i'm talking about them in theory i'll quickly show you in the code and make you understand how things work so for that i'm going to flip to intellij ide all right so this is the same project that we are working until our previous video and as you can see that the new two hooks that we were talking about added in this particular version of Cucumber, at least this was something added in Cucumber 3 itself, but 3 did not lead along, 4 is something which is now very, very popular and people are trying to upgrade to that. So as you can see, the new hook that we are going to be seeing this time is going to be the before step. So the before step and the after step are the two things that are currently added in this particular uh, version of it. So I will quickly type something called as maybe before step and I'm gonna name this as public wide before step uh, execution. And then here, the only way that you can pass the parameter is gonna be scenario. So you, even if you try to pass something else, it's gonna throw you an error because the only parameter type that is supported currently with this particular hooks is gonna be the scenario. So here you can actually do a system.out.print and here you can pass the uh, execution scenario steps. It's gonna be scenario dot and you can see that you can only get this line or maybe the status or something like that. So maybe I'm just gonna print the line for now. So this is what is gonna be the before step execution in this particular uh, place. And similarly, we can also print the after step execution as well. So if I just type something like an after step execution, and this is gonna be after uh, step as well. So this is another new hook. And here, I'm just gonna say the execution of scenario step uh, maybe I'm gonna say after so just to differentiate in the console log and the before I'm just gonna save it right now so these are the two new hooks that is going to be added in this particular place right and now if I try to execute this particular piece of code so let's try to execute that You can see that the two browser has been spawned and it is currently kind of executing. So I'm just gonna close this. And now if I just go to the console log, you can see that for every step, it is kind of executing the before and the after. Before and the after. So the line number four is something but the scenario which is sitting 
in line number four of the login feature. So one, two, three, fourth. So this is the fourth line. Maybe the next console log will be of line number 12. So if I just scroll down a little bit, you can see that it is of line number 12, right? So this is the only thing that we can actually get right now, at least from the before and the after step. But I have actually extended this before step and after step even further in our advanced framework development with Selenium Java course in Udemy, where we are going to be using this particular hooks in much different fashion, not just for uh, printing the console log that you are seeing in here, but for the reporting purpose within our extent reporting. So that particular video is gonna be added in few days from now. So you can see the particular upgrade happening for the course as a new section, like Cucumber 4 upgrade. So this is the before step execution and after step execution, or otherwise the before step hooks and the after step hooks of the Cucumber 4 and this is the new feature which has been added. In our next video, we'll talk even further about the test runner which we have not spoken yet and we'll also see how we can make use of the test runner in even further fashion. Thank you.